Welcome to our hub identification class and today we have a very important hub that is known as a, a man's a remedy in the toxic world or a polluted world and that is called the garlic. Now garlic is known as allium, allium sativum or garlic as a common name. It is man's herb in a polluted world. Basically it grows in any place that has soft soil, loamy soil and is well drained and uh, highly manured soils. Now that is the garlic. We have the purple garlic and we have the elephant garlic. The best one is always the purple or the uh, the small sized garlic. Garlic is famous for its healing property with heart disease. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the world today. So for every two people, uh, for every two minutes, two people die of heart disease. 99% of all these heart deaths are caused by cholesterol and saturated fat blocking the coronary arteries. So the problem of heart disease is that there is a buildup of, of, um, of cholesterol within the, the arterial walls, and that is the, uh, the low lipo, uh, lipoproteins, the LDE, uh, LDL, that is so dangerous for, for your system. It is because we eat high fatty diets and we eat... Um, we eat highly refined foods, white rice, white wheat flour, and uh, also we don't exercise, we live a sedentary life, and we are so selfish, we are busy for ourselves, we don't want to help others as well as pray for others, and we don't trust in divine power, and so we don't have purity of life. Garlic is known to be a herb that helps to tone down your, uh, your, 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 your cardiac system or circulatory system. Attention was first put on garlic as a cardiac remedy when researchers noticed that in countries who had high garlic consumption, the incidence of heart disease was much lower than average. And then garlic has also been found to lower serum cholesterol and triglyceride levels and reduce the buildup of atherosclerotic plagues. In our arteries. It does this partly by increasing our blood levels of high density lipoproteins and uh, and also these lipoproteins uh, clear our blood of excess cholesterol and fat. Garlic also lowers our low density lipoproteins, the LDLs, uh, which can attribute to arterial plaque. Medical researchers have also found substance in garlic that inhibit blood platelet aggregation, the sticking together of blood vessels. This is just another way that garlic can reduce your risk of heart attack. Um, so that ag uh, platelet aggregation has brought problems with many people. You find that some people will have cons constant nose bleeding. Some people, when they are cut, the blood cannot uh, clot well. And so uh, it is the effect of the platelet aggregation. One of the herbs that is good for uh, actually this constant nose bleeding or inability to, uh, inability to clot the blood effectively is taking popo leaf juice as well as um, taking, um, taking a juice made from cucumber. High blood pressure is a worldwide disease and in every study, garlic has proven conclusively to reduce hypertension. Uh, if someone is having a crisis, we said you, took a bar, you take a bar of garlic and crush it finely, put in a glass, put in a, in a liter of water, of warm water that is, and then you sieve it out, then put it into your enema bag and do an enema with it. You should be able to retain it for 15 to 20 minutes, able to cut down your blood pressure with, uh, with heavy or high units. 
Because of its powerful effects on blood pressure, the Japanese Food and Drug Administration has proved garlic and it is now an official drug listed in the Japanese pharmacopoeia. Garlic is for you. Garlic has proven to be an effective cancer therapy. A third of all the medical research into garlic is cancer related. Uh, because it starts circulation, remove the, uh, the high cholesterol, that is the, uh, the low density lipoproteins and so uh, lowers also the glycolysis process so that your, the cancer is not able to feed on, um, on, the, on the nutrients that are uh, taken in by the body. And so that lowers its slow progression, its, its growth or progression, and starves it to death. So garlic has been shown to help our white blood cells not only defend us against cancer, but also to increase our ability to destroy tumors. When the properties of garlic are present in the bloodstream, many aspects of our immunity are enhanced. Garlic has also been found to stimulate interferon production, enhancing new natural killer cells, stop tumor growth, and reduce the associated pain of cancer. It's good for colorectal cancer. Um, in areas of the world, it is the number one cancer among men and women together as a group. Why? Because you find in some areas, uh, many people thrive on, on wheat products, and wheat is highly constipated. Uh, uh, it constipates the system. And the colon, the colon will be very dirty, and that dirty debris matter will be taken back into your system. And if you cannot go for a long call as required, three times a day for every meal, you must go for a long call. Uh, basically, in a day, a man should be able to go for four bowel movements. If you exercise and you don't eat between the meals and you drink a lot of water, eat a lot of fiber foods, the whole grains, the, the fruits and vegetables, your bowel movements need to be in good order. You take a colonic and uh, take aloe vera gel, um, cactus gel, cactus nopalis gel, very good for the colon. And will also protect you from colorectal cancer. The local indigenous plants like jute mallow and uh, uh, we have uh, the jute mallow, we have the spider plant, we have the beta uh, the the, the bitter plant, the bitter, the bitter dandelion, good for your colon. So garlic has been found in double blind studies to reduce the incidence of colon or rectal cancer. Garlic has also been reported to reduce stomach cancer. In one medical university study, garlic was shown to reduce stomach cancer 10 times more effective than the non-garlic eating group. And garlic with its over 80 different sulfur compounds is a free radical scavenger. This is just another way that garlic will protect you from cancer and suppress chemically induced cancers. Garlic is a powerful antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal agent. Uh, we use it. It is a nature antibiotic. Garlic juice diluted one part in 125,000 has been found to inhibit the growth of bacteria. Garlic destroys both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, making it a broad-spectrum antibiotic. And garlic used as an antibacterial agent in Russia is so esteemed, it has been nicknamed the Russian penicillin. And we also know that uh, we can make a natural biotic uh, using garlic. For You have to take about two baths of garlic you blend them in a cup of warm water and then you have a cup of honey and then you have uh, a half glass juice of, uh, of turmeric, half a glass juice of, uh, of uh, red bulb onion and 10 ml of eucalyptus oil, 10 leaves of clove, 10, 10 ml of clove oil, 10 Mills of peppermint oil and 
a glass of pineapple juice and uh, about a tablespoon of cayenne uh, cayenne powder it should be hot cayenne 90 scoville units and then stir them together and drink in is a good antibiotic and immune stimulant pharmaceutical antibiotics are non-selective in their destruction of bacteria in your body they just destroy it all this creates many problems because our body has many so-called friendly bacteria that we need for proper metabolic process most of the people have autoimmune diseases because the good biota uh, the bio the uh, the abiotic factor within the system is low and so the, the the bad bacteria are able to thrive in the system the e e coli or e cherry and uh, uh, the lactobacter bacillus is lowered and the h pylori which is also in the system is increased so people have uh, have the h pylori problem or the ulcer hyper acidity and it lowers the metabolic Function. We have billions of these good bacteria in our on our skin, on our gut, on our gut system. And if we take the natural the 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 uh, the, uh, the antibiotics we have in the uh, over the counters, it really deprives the system of those good bacteria because it kills everything there. This is why many people after a course of antibiotic therapy have a digestive problems, constipation and yeast and fungal overgrowth infections, overgrowth infections. Our body also become immune to this antibiotic over time and sometimes dangerous resistant strains of bacteria are actually created in our bodies. So garlic is totally selective in its bacteria destruction, only killing bacteria that is harmful to our, our body. What is amazing is that at the same time, garlic actually enhances our friendly bacteria and improves our intestinal flora and digestion. Garlic destroys many types of bacteria, including Streptococcus, Streptococcus uh, 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 that is typhoid bacteria, and diphtheria, cholera, bacterial dysentery, Travelers diarrhea, tuberculosis, tetanus, rheumatic bacteria, and many others. You can take the juice of it, three cloves, you blend in one cup of water and take it in every day. Or you can do an enema with it, or you can just chew the, uh, uh, the, the cloves themselves. And sometimes it burns, so what you need to do is uh, you can refrigerate it and put it in the freezer and then you just chew it in the morning. It will not be having that. Uh, that heating burning uh, test and uh, and so it you are able to survive with it some say that the reason you don't catch colds when you eat garlic is because no one will come near you regardless garlic is also a powerful antiviral agent many feel it is the cure for the common cold it destroys various virus that cause upper respiratory infection and influenza Garlic destroys on contact the viral infection of measles, mum, monocleosis, uh, chicken pox, happy simplex, and happy zoster, viral, hepatitis, scarlet fever, rabies, and others, even HIV and AIDS. Uh, if you have a strong corn uh, extract of it, you can, use, you can use DMSO to extract those properties and then take it in. Every day we need to take garlic in our system if we are in a position to. Garlic's antifungal ability is second to none. In the laboratory it has proven to be more potent than any known antifungal agent including nystatin. Garlic will regulate the overgrowth of candida. So that is what we have about garlic. Uh, May we know that God has provided the nature agencies that are there to help the body to regenerate itself. Garlic is there from the very beginning of creation. We see it mentioned in, uh, in the book of Genesis, in the book of Exodus. And it has been used by the Egyptians to cure many diseases. So may God bless us till our next class.